A surprise for a mission that turned out to be loaded with fines. Well, welcome to Finding America. It is really nice to see you here. Well, happy Halloween to all of you out there. Yep, the leaves are falling and so are the temperatures. Thank goodness. And those cooler temperatures also brought Chris back out to do some metal detecting this past Saturday morning. Well, Chris decided he wanted to try an empty lot that I had permission in town to metal detect. Now, it's not an easy lot to hunt. I've hunted it a couple times, but it is full of garbage because of the early 1900s house that once sat there had caught fire in the past and they simply bulldozed it. So there's a lot of trash to get through, but there's always enough cool old stuff that keeps me coming back. Well, I had an absolute blast out there hunting with Chris, and as soon as we got swinging, we started finding things right off the bat. Well, I was getting a 26 down here, and I dug down, and I got some kind of a pretty big... Well, that thing is big. Yeah, I told Chris, I got a big toy car. What do you know, a toy car, man? Yeah, <laughs> you've been on them lately. Yeah, no joke. I don't know what this is. Some kind of service vehicle? I don't know what's the front and what's the back. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's some seats. That's well, that is an oddball, huh? Yeah, it is. Very strange. Oh, that thing is big. I don't know what that is. A Jeep or International or... Strange. That is very weird. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Yeah. But there it is. I found it. Pretty cool. Well, Chris found a little something. Looks like a wheel. Heavy. Yeah, that's a pretty old one for an old toy. Yeah. I like that one. It's got rubber. And... Might have a. Sometimes they have a logo on the tire. That's pretty it's old. Some weird gears on there. Yeah. Might not be as old as I'm thinking. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, pretty cool. I'll we'll get it cleaned up. Give you all a better look at it, but. <laughs> that was it's a heavy. Big, that was a really yeah boy that is heavy. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I tell you, it is toy month. Must be getting close to Christmas. But <laughs> I dug down, got a uh, 21. And if you saw my video not too long ago, you know I found one of these. But now I have another one. It's a, uh, a Tootsie Toy boat trailer. And this one has the tires and axles. That's pretty cool. And as I found out in the last video, this came out in 1969. And they made it for a few years. But it was a, uh, a boat and trailer. And uh, I think it was like a Ford Bronco or International Scout set. That looks smaller, don't it? No, nope, that's exactly same the same color. one. Yep, it's even got the same hitch, hitch. tongue. I'll oh, be darned. Yeah. Hey, well, there you go. We Another need one. the boat, man. I know, I do need the boat. It was plastic, <laughs> though, so we're going to have trouble finding that one. <laughs> Well, we'd only been hunting for about 20 minutes when I looked up and noticed a neighbor approaching the fence. Well, she was curious as to what we were finding, and before we knew it, we found ourselves all standing alongside the fence. I'm showing her things that we found. Chris is showing what he's found. And she became very intrigued and readily gave us permission to hunt her property as well. Now, I thought it only involved her house that was built in the 1930s and her one lot. Well, actually, she ended up owning three lots. There were two more lots that I couldn't see. Now there's a trailer on those two lots, but originally there were two old houses that had once been there. So you didn't have to ask us twice. We got in the car, drove around the block, parked at her place, started swinging. I'd say as soon as the coils hit the ground, the fines, they started popping.
Well, while Chris and I were hunting that empty lot, neighbor next door and came by and we started talking and she offered to let us hunt her property, which is actually a triple lot. It's got this nice backyard here. And uh, there's a trailer on this one and there's an old 30s house up there. So Chris is right over there and I got a nice 18 signal and I think I have an old dog tag. I'm gonna have to uh, give it a little spray. But I think that's what I have. Oh yeah, definitely. It's old too. I can see 317 on it, the number. Uh, oh my, that's kind of cool. I think it says Fort Lee, Virginia, USA. Now, now I don't know. That's pretty cool. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I'm starting to get pretty excited about this place. First two signals. Well, you saw that really cool tag. And now, look here, I got this awesome little compact lid and this is going to be a lady esther and it says lady esther up here has a bow in the center and it says chicago down here and that's going to be 30s really nice little piece and uh this one was ringing up at a 14. chris got a 44 weedy so far so uh yeah i have a feeling there was an old house here before this trailer so Well, this one was giving me a 14 and uh, another cool old piece. Uh, I got it myself an overall button in pretty darn nice shape. I gave it a quick brush and some rinse, save some time, but this is actually going to be a real early Belks brand overalls. And yep, that's just like the Belks department store. It started all the way back in the 1800s. But this button's going to be probably 20s to 30s. And uh, good looking button. Yeah, well, Chris said he got something. What'd you get? I got a 44 over there. Yeah, I was telling them that. And then, uh... Ooh, nice green one. Yeah, I thought it was going to be an Indian. The 27. 27, huh? I don't see a mint mark yet, but... Look at that. Oh, it's a good sign. Maybe it'll be a... Oh, there's got to be silver here. Barber or something. Yep. Very cool. I like that. Yeah. Well, I think Chris might have found something pretty darn good. I saw the back of it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think that it's some brooch. Yeah, that is definitely a brooch. It's an old one, too. Need some water? Uh, looks like she's wiping off. Oh, man. Maybe it's... Nice open design. Oh, yeah, look at that. Might be missing a part. Could be. Maybe. Could be an escutcheon, too. Well, we don't think it's a brooch now. No, I have to clean it. It's pretty heavy duty, but either we're figuring maybe piece to an escutcheon or some kind of a decoration for furniture. Yeah. Very old, though. Definitely turn of the century. Last well, century, like that it. is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you can't say turn of the century anymore. No. Yeah, it's from 1999. I guess if you're as old as me, you can say <laughs> turn of the century and people know what it means. But very cool piece. I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, this one was giving me a 22-23 signal, and I went ahead and cleaned it off a little bit, but it's my turn for a weedy, I guess. I'll get you in on this one, but it's going to be a 57 with the Denver Mint Mark. Happy to see that.
Well, got a 14, dug down, got another overall button. It was down in the hole. I've been working on it a little bit. And uh, at first I thought it was gonna be a jackrabbit button, but I think I've got one. I found one or two of these before. I think it's a pointer. Uh, there was a guy back in the early 1900s, late 1800s, started a denim company, and he named it Pointer after his favorite dog. But I'll know more when I get it cleaned up. But uh, another nice 20s button. I got something pretty interesting here. Look at that. I don't know what that is. I have to get it cleaned up. Pretty cool. I thought it was some sort of a car emblem, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'll get it cleaned up and we'll see if we can figure it out. Very cool. Well, I was just showing this to Chris, and it's pretty darn cool. It's actually complete, but it's I think it's stamped aluminum, and I think it says Night Super down here. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this one out because. They did have a car named the Knight, but it, it was really old, and I don't know if they used stamped aluminum. Neat. It's got some kind of tar substance on the back, but yeah, that'll be kind of fun to look up, see what it is. Yeah, I like that. Well, I looked high and low, and I just could not find much information on this piece. Matter of fact, I couldn't find anything. So if you know anything about this week's mystery find and what it might have gone on originally, please let me know in the comments below. Well, I'm in front of the uh, 1930s house. That's up on the hill on this property. And uh, it has a nice little front yard, and I mean, the signals are everywhere. So I'm kind of picking and choosing, just sampling to see what it's like. And I got a 27 right here. And I got a toy car, but it's an awesome one. It's a little Tootsie pickup truck. Isn't that cool? I definitely like this one. It's purple. <laughs> I think it might be a, it could be a Jeep Gladiator. It's got that little raised portion in the hood like the Wagoneers had. How cool is that? That's going to be 60s. Very nice, very nice. Because I haven't found this uh, particular Tootsie before. Ah, oh, love it. came down here and Chris found uh, something here. That's old. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's Looks old. familiar, like a grape pattern. Yeah, it's Spoon an old maybe. silver plate. Very nice. Yeah, that is definitely gold. And this was in there with it. Huh. I have no idea. It's not a zinc. Yeah, looks like know. one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <clears throat> pretty early. Well, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah, this is definitely early 1900s at least. I'm thinking 1800s from the look at the back of it. See that green coming through? Yeah. Very cool, man. Yeah. Oh, Chris told me you found something down here. What'd you get? A 39. 39? Wow, that thing was maxed Didn't out. Can get it in the light some. Can't make it out, but it's an early lock. It might be an old sleigh maker. It's kind of corroded, so it's hard to make out the logo, but... Yeah, not definitely. terribly old. Looks like it says made in something. Yeah, it's probably 40s. They got something to clean it, it? Yeah, we'll brush it off. You don't want, you can't clean these up too much. These were kind of uh, not the best metal. Pot metal. Yeah. Well, I was getting a nice 25 signal. Uh, didn't know what to expect, but I wasn't expecting this. Look at that big monster that popped out. 
half dollar size. Looks, I'm gonna guess it's a presidential token. I haven't even picked it up, but I have found these, but these are actually older ones. Big, huge brass tokens. Oh yeah, this is Abraham Lincoln. Tells the story about him. I think I have one of these, but it's a uh, George Washington. And I believe these were uh, service station tokens. Now look at that, that is darn cool. I like that. Let's see if I can get you in on it. Yeah, that's cool as all get out. Amazing piece. I definitely like that one. Well, uh, this one was giving me a 25, and I'll tell you what, it's a toy car, but it's a really cool one. Unfortunately, it came out in a couple pieces. Like this back half, back half here is separated, but that is like a 71 Javelin. And uh, they put some kind of super stock hood scoop on it. But I did take a peek at the bottom. It's an early Matchbox car, made in England. And uh, I always like this year Javelin because of the, the wild body lines. But very cool car, I'll get it cleaned up. I even got the uh, windshield and everything came out, but you can see it been broken in the past, but I wish it was all complete because that is a very cool early matchbox. Chris is just the padlock king today. Master of locks. <laughs> this one's obvious. A Reese. Yep. We see. That one's pretty clear. Yeah. Yeah, that's another uh, 50s, 60s. Made in USA. Yeah. Very cool. What is that? Oh. Made in USA. I've never heard of that. <laughs> so, I was out here and uh, the homeowner came out and she was asking. Me. Yeah, Geraldine. And, uh, she wanted to know how the machine works, so I was showing her, and I'm looking for a signal, and I got a 2122, and we dug down, and uh, yeah, she was amazed that I thought this was a good find. So <laughs> I know you guys know what this is. It's a Ford Model T valve stem, retained or not. So that's kind of a cool find to show Geraldine what can come out of the ground. I think you were kind of shocked at how old it was, huh? Really? She's like, yeah, oh, I thought a nut was a nut. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to say that. <laughs> I said, no, that's what they talk about me. <laughs> well, this one was giving me a 12, and I'm like, well, let's dig it out and see what it is. That's pretty cool. It's part of a fork or a spoon handle. It's got a little bit of a design on it, and I definitely would... Uh, place this in the 20s or 30s. Well, I just had to show you something else I noticed about this utensil handle. Look at the end of it. I think they were trying to make a key out of it. It actually looks like they were trying to do a key pattern. Isn't that weird? I have never seen that before. But I am almost 100% positive that's what they were trying to make. An old key. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm back, and Geraldine is looking over my shoulder because I found something amazing. I got a 16, you know. I was telling her, well, we have to dig it all because sometimes it just rings up like garbage, but it turns out to be something good, and lo and behold, it turned out to be something awesome. Look what came out of her yard. I got a bee buzzing around the camera, but it is a Civil War bullet, three ringer, and that is a Union bullet. That is a 58 caliber mini ball used by the Union Army during the Civil War. Wow. I think she was as shocked as I was to see it come out of here. <laughs> I've been digging up 20s and 30s stuff and to, and to find a Civil War bullet. Isn't that something? What year was that Civil War? Way back in... 18, 1861 to 1865. Very old. Isn't that something though? That's a piece. Yes. That's why a metal tech. You get to touch history.
Well, Chris and I eventually ran out of steam, but we definitely never ran out of signals. And we will certainly be heading back to this spot very soon. And here's another look at everything we found at this awesome surprise permission. Now, don't go anywhere just yet. Hang out with me for just one more minute because I have some pretty awesome images of just how Americans in the past celebrated Hallow's Eve. I really think you're going to enjoy seeing these. And remember, it's history that makes a find a treasure. And I can't wait to see you back here next week on Finding America. Thank you.